I remember that evening very well. I was driving late in the evening after a concert and I was listening to the radio and suddenly I heard the music that made me pull over, stop, listen, cry and just fall in love. It was falling in love from the first note and it was Melody by Gluck. Gluck, Christoph Willebach Gluck, he is known as an opera reformer, as somebody who stands between Handel and Mozart. He simplified. What we had before was that weird picture of opera evening consisting of one singer performing very elaborate, very difficult arias, lots of ballet between singing, lots of chatting, eating and playing cards during the opera performance between the audience members. There was no story, there was no drama. It were just the numbers of performances, the just sequences of songs, sequences of arias and sequences of dancing in the middle. So what Gluck did, he prioritized the story above all. Now we were really following the dramatic development, the contrasts, Thus, this is what mattered. And he achieved it, of course, by being a very good composer, but also by adding importance of chorus, the choir, by um, enlarging the orchestra, so therefore we had many more colors, and also by prioritizing the story. So this particular melody, which actually is called Dance of the Blessed Spirits from scene two, act two of opera Orphée, this is the moment when uh, Orphée is looking for his wife. Orphée is an artist, he's a poet, he's a musician, and he's happily married to his beautiful wife, Eurydice. But she's been bitten by a snake and she dies, and he's devastated, and he goes to the underworld, and he asks the gods to return his beloved wife to him. And the gods say, we will do so with one condition, if when you take her out from the underworld, you will never look at her until you are up back to reality and he does he turns around and he looks at her and she 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 dies and the happiness is over and it i'm i'm wondering why did he look back he knew that she would not survive this gaze this look and of course it's a very philosophical question why do we look back Interesting enough, as you've just seen, this is a ballet number in this opera. This is where he is arrived to the Elysian fields and he's looking for her. He's, he's about to ask the gods um, to have her back. But this is the moment when he has arrived to this world that 
only exists in Greek mythology or before. This is the imaginary world of, of spirits and he's asking, he's about to ask the gods for, for a very big favor. And because it's a, a world, uh, the underworld, the world of the spirits, the composer has chosen a flute as a melody performer in here. And since uh, Bach's time, flute does represent a Holy Spirit, something that should not be performed by a human voice. And this is my favorite performance of this composition. Well, originally German, Gluck lived in Italy, he lived in Vienna for many years. And then one day Marie Antoinette, who happened to be his student, invited him to Paris. This reminds me that maybe I should go back to teaching, but also she was the one who suggested to create a production of the opera for a Parisian audience. And Gluck being a very clever, almost like businessman, uh, type musician, he understood that Parisians are tired of complicated Rameau and Handel approach to music making and he, he offered something completely different, something very human, something very personal and something that had a, had a line around it, something that had a leitmotif if you want, leitmotif of a storytelling. And Orphe uh, therefore sounds French because although initially composed um, in, performed in Vienna and composed in Italian, he then, 12 years later, translated it to French. And just to conclude, I would like to play the very ending of this piece that is, I think, one of my very favorite compositions on the CD. <laughs> 